A major development, Sutter Health, one of California's largest medical providers, is taking action just days after we expose serious racial discrimination allegations inside the hospitals and clinics across Northern California. Senior investigative reporter Bagat Shaban has been digging into all this, and he's here now to tell us exactly what has Sutter told you. What is it going to do? Well, Rajan, just over the last month, our series of reports have highlighted nearly a dozen current and former black physicians at Sutter who accuse the hospital system of discrimination. Well, now Sutter's president and CEO, Warner Thomas, is promising major changes, including fast tracking the hiring of a new chief diversity officer. That's a first of its kind position at Sutter. Thomas has only been on the job about five months, but says after watching our most recent story, he's ordering his staff to review hiring and training practices across Sutter's entire medical system, which serves more than three million patients. How many of you have experienced discrimination while working at a Sutter hospital? All of you. There was a toxic environment that just permeated. I was traumatized. It's insidious here within Sutter. We recently introduced you to three former Sutter doctors, total strangers to one another, who worked at different Sutter departments in Northern California during different time periods, but are now sharing similar stories of racial discrimination. They say among them, they were passed up for promotions, repeatedly labeled as disruptive, and consistently bullied by Sutter leaders, all because they are black. Who or what do you blame for the kind of treatment you experienced while at Sutter? Leadership. Leadership. And the culture, the culture yeah. within leadership. But it's the leadership that determines the culture, yeah. ultimately. Yeah. And uh, it starts at the top. What makes me Sutter proud is our people. They do such amazing work every day, taking care of our patients and their families and taking care of our communities. Sutter CEO Warner Thomas sent the hospital group's board of directors a letter responding to our report, saying, I am personally disturbed by the discrimination claims made by three Sutter-affiliated physicians in a local Bay Area NBC story. Our response to this will not be defensive. Instead, we will use this situation as a catalyst for a different level of energy and urgency around this work and a much broader, more holistic, more comprehensive approach. Thomas also noted he's ordering several immediate actions starting this week, saying Sutter will hire an external consultant to work with the CEO to accomplish those goals, create a diversity, equity, and inclusion council for physicians, hold listening sessions, and review internal training and hiring practices. Now, in his letter, Sutter's CEO said he plans to invite each of the three physicians we recently interviewed to meet with him personally. Now, he previously has declined to speak with us about our series of investigations, but today his office says he's agreed to talk and is working to schedule the interview. So, Raj, stay tuned. Okay, we haven't heard the last from Sutter. Some powerful reporting there. Thank you, Bagad.